Hi, welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot. I'm Alexis. I do go by Indigo for the purposes of the channel. Happy New Year, wonderful 2020. <laughs> um, I'm continuing on with what I said I'm doing, six month forecast for 2020. Um, after I finish these, then I'll go back to the regular uh, format that I was doing the readings in. But other than that, I'm going to start off with the overall energy of your year, your angel numbers. Um, we have spiritual advice from Archangel Michael, and then we have spiritual advice just for the entire year of 2020. And then I'll go into um, January through June, okay? So, um, for your overall energies, this uh, reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, um, North Nodes as well. Um, am I forgetting anything? No, okay. So, your angel numbers, uh, there are more sevens here than anything. For me, seven is a very spiritual, a very solitary number. It's about, you know... Um, self-mastery you know possibly taking on an energy of being more solitary or or needing solitude or just being more spiritual pisces are naturally very spiritual so i do feel like that can be amplified this year um not necessarily like in a bad way i just feel like the, the overall energy for you especially with like seven being the most reoccurring number here i just think there's going to be um i just think you're going to be more focused on the spiritual aspect of things or i feel like life is going to force you to look at things from a more spiritual perspective like i said that could be solitude that could be research you could just be stepping into an energy of trying to master yourself and have discipline um anything along those lines it just it feels like that's where a lot of your attention will be for 2020 let me give me a moment okay so um other than 777 you have 888 here 10 10 10 and 11 11 11 so a look into those 11 11 10 10 and 888 those are really good numbers signifies like awakening like i said those are very spiritual 10s talk about completions uh closing out cycles 11s talk about you know spiritual awakening activation um gaining enlightenment gaining wisdom like i said sevens the 11 11 that's very spiritual um with 888 that can't talk about like working through some karma but more than anything i feel like that is actually talking about um abundance and prosperity trying to come in for you i don't feel like that there's a lot of karma with that number this time around so other than that the first card that we have is a 10 um the overall energy of 2020 for you is building blocks okay so this is focusing on your foundations um if you're not if you haven't already laid the groundwork for some things as far as your future as far as yourself pisces i feel like that is what your focus is going to be for this year it's just like you're trying to get your foundations right you're trying to build you're trying to bring things into fruition 2020 um as far as the number that it comes to is a four fours talk about manifestation it talks about stability security you know things being um fixed into the material so kind of like pulling things from the ethers into reality so i feel like that's a lot of where your energy is going to be focused here um this can be talk this can be talking about like just the foundations for your life or yourself personally but this can also be talking about you know relationship situations things where you're just needing to kind of look at the foundation of yourself your path your your relationships your friendships and just making sure that um it is in alignment with you know your core beliefs your values your intentions so that you're just making sure that you are um everything within you and outside of you is like in alignment to where you're trying to go and i feel like that's what this is what this uh symbolizes so this could even be you taking a closer look at you know your close relationship seeing if you know you're on the same page with people seeing if you know a relationship or multiple relationships are still working out for you do you guys still resonate you know things like that as far as personal this could just be like i said more of an energy of your goals your energy and you're just trying to really build yourself up get your life to where you're wanting it to go 2020 is the year for you to be focused on all of those things it's kind of just making sure that your foundation across the board is in alignment with what you're wanting and where you're trying to go and build up to um when i wanted to clarify why this came out like i said this is a 28 coming to a 10 um the balance card came out to clarify this so this is traditionally the justice card in um the regular tarot so balance is talked about once again i feel like you could be taken on an energy of just trying to find your balance between maybe you know spirituality and the material or maybe spirituality in your emotions i feel like you'll be trying to find balance more so within yourself but once again this can also apply to you know external situations energy and people to you but i feel like more than anything this is a not as i don't want to call it a struggle for balance but um 
your, your focus is just going to be more on trying to have that ongoing balance within yourself and within whatever it is that you're focusing on for 2020. I feel like this is a you oriented year. I don't, I don't feel like, um, it, it could be for some of you. Yes. That you'll be like really focused on others, but I feel like this is more of a self focused energy. Like I said, sevens that's solitary, that is wisdom. That's trying to master yourself willpower so I, I don't feel like your attention is going to be excessively on other people i feel like 2020 is more so than anything it's about you your energy what you're wanting where you're going i feel like that's where your focus is going to be um and and with this being here this is also um justice talks about karma it talks about truth talks about honesty so this is basically taking on a more honest and caring energy towards yourself as well as taking on a responsible and a balanced energy in regards to how you move forward and how you, you know, work on your foundations, okay? Um, for a lot of you who have already been doing that, then this is just you continuing to maintain this balance and this solidity that you have with your energy where you are in life, okay? But definitely, I feel like this is a good energy for 2020 just because it lines up with that four energy of trying to bring things into the material um, and, and making sure or trying to ensure that you, what you're investing your energy in, in into lasts long term. I feel like that's what the focus is. So um furthermore as far as like the overall advice for 2020 for you guys from archangel michael specifically it's making a commitment so once again building foundations finding balance it takes commitment to do that you have to be dedicated to you know building things from the ground up you have to be dedicated to making sure that you know internally and externally things are in alignment for you um and, and that you are still acting in a way that goes with you know, your, like I said, your core beliefs, your values, your morals, your ethics, you're making sure that things align with your energy and that you are still resonating with people, places, things, and situations, or evaluating and seeing that maybe there are some things that you don't resonate with. Either way, it takes commitment in order to do that. It takes effort. It takes discipline. It takes self-mastery to do that. A lot of people like to um, live in ignorance or you know not pay attention or anything along those lines that could impede you from forward movement and I feel like this this commitment is more so to yourself and your path and what you're wanting and where you're going and what it is that you're working on and trying to maintain balance as you do this so um, for Twitter like I said I feel like for the for a lot of you most of you this is more so a you focused year where you're you're committed to yourself and your path and your goals okay um it, as far as you know general general advice we have in rama here where you've been called to journey to so once again this is spiritual it can be physical movement physical travel um but more so than anything this is like more of a soul journey so kind of going towards your truth going towards your um your north node your your true north okay um i mean that both as a figure of speech as well as like astrologically so for some of you you can definitely be um pisces north nodes and if not, this is an energy of you needing to maybe look into where your north node fall, falls in your um, your natal chart, just so you can kind of get into balance, into alignment, and get going to where you're you're trying to move forward to just in life. Okay, so for example, um, me, I have a Virgo north node, which means that my uh, south node is in Pisces, so that means I have a lot of Piscean energy naturally i i was born with that and so this lifetime is a basically about me um balancing out the negative or the shadow traits of pisces with virgo um using that virgo you know perfection a uh, grounded detail oriented um earth oriented energy kind of like um this is like a lifetime where i have to figure out how to put that pisces creativity spirituality into something material and tangible that also is beneficial to others while still having my boundaries so for example that's how my north node helps me to like stay in alignment um so definitely for a lot of you look into your north node if you don't know it already in your chart okay but this is to me soul journey like i said i can't talk about physical travel maybe you will be doing that but for a lot of you this is a soul journey where you're needing to kind of follow your soul's truth okay because you're building this is this is about your your spiritual foundation um 
and the other card that we have for spiritual advice is mediumship so maybe for some of you your your spiritual abilities will be heightening in the sense that you'll be able to communicate more so um with your your ancestors your spirit guides you could have you know some ancestors like reaching out to you maybe through your dreams maybe through synchronicities you know just random thoughts that you get but this is a heightened energy around your ancestors and your spirit guides um communicating with you wanting to communicate with you and this could also be a spiritual gift um that you will be kind of working on or enhancing in 2020 okay so that's really dope but definitely um for building your foundations and trying to remain balanced and and responsible in your energy definitely call on your ancestors your spirit guides to help you with that if you are not already doing doing so um other than that that is the overall energy the overall spiritual advice for you Pisces and now I'm going to get into this month January 2020 so the overall energy for this month for you is a two and this is beauty okay so um for this to be the overall energy I do feel like I said this is a you oriented year so I do think that you could be starting off the year already or needing to um embrace you know beauty within you and around you so this could be an energy of you noticing your beauty internal external this could be you beautifying your environment or just taking care of your environment taking care of yourself your energy um just wellness like self-care self-love maybe you know you have gone through some things 2019 was a rough year for damn near everybody that i i came across i don't think anybody liked 2019 to be honest so um for a lot of people a lot of pisces you could be coming into you know 2020 with this kind of a either your energy is renewed and you're enjoying it or you're approaching that so with this like i said this is beauty this is you seeing this within yourself within your environment this is you trying to beautify yourself this is you trying to you know bring harmony and bring beauty into you know maybe even your room your just where you live trying to beautify things um just in the sense that you know kind of like your 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 product of your environment and if you can create a beautiful and a harmonious environment for yourself um that's only going to benefit you you know especially you pisces you're very otherworldly like you you like to escape so it's very good for you to make your reality something that you don't have to escape from so like i said this is beautifying yourself beautifying your environment maybe some of you you know work in the beauty industry or there's just like a heightened sense of wellness and self-care that you're either already in or that you're stepping into this month okay um, if not, like I said, it's something that you could be needing to do because 2019 was such a crazy fucking year. So taking care of yourself, I feel like, and beautifying your environment or bringing harmony into it, okay? Maybe this is you enjoying um, enjoying extracurricular activities that um, involve, like I said, the beauty industry or just beautifying things. I don't know whether that's making, um, I don't know whether that's painting, I don't know whether that's fashion. It, it, beauty and art can be expressed in a variety of different forms, but a lot of you could be in that. I feel like this is more of a self-care self-beauty type thing but you know take how take it however it resonates um clarifying why beauty came out as the overall energy of january we have victory and rest and rejuvenation so once again like i said if you're if you're not already in this energy as of right now then this is something that you're you're being called to go towards but this is an energy of like you you're achieving something most likely this feels like an internal achievement um for a lot of you like i said with this being a you oriented a self-focused year a healthy selfishness that maybe you're needing to take on i feel like if you're not already this could be an energy of like i said you needing to focus on self-care and wellness and just making sure your energy is right and that you're in a good space mentally emotionally spiritually maybe physically for some of you like i said pampering yourself doing things that make you feel good that that look beautiful make you feel beautiful all of that um this is an energy of like kind of a this reminds me of like a spa to be honest with the beauty card and then the rest and rejuvenation this talks about needing to relax needing to meditate just needing to kind of um get into your zen your zen kind of uh, energy so if that's not something that you're already doing i feel like this is what you're, you're working up to in january okay so like i said heightened self-care um overcoming some things from you know 2019 and it's like now you're healing now you are kind of once again you know building yourself back up building your energy back up or you're being called to all right why is beauty here as the overall energy of january 2020 for the collective of pisces why is beauty here as the overall energy of january 2020 for the collective of pisces mm. 
Okay. Okay, so we have the anything else for the no. All right, so we have the three of wands. This is um, waiting. Okay, waiting in expectation for something to arrive that maybe you've been working towards planning. Um, this is the energy of waiting for your um, your opportunities or your ships to come in. Okay, this could be in general. This could be in regards to a particular situation. But like I said, with beauty being here, um, I feel like this is an energy of you maybe getting yourself ready for what it is that you're expecting to come in for you. Um, getting yourself ready on an internal level maybe like i said physically physically beautifying yourself your environment but i feel like this is more of an energy thing where it's like you're you're getting your energy right because you're you're waiting for something in particular um it, it could be anything opportunities blessings uh, like a particular situation that you're dealing with i feel like you're in this expectation kind of energy and it's like you're getting your um getting yourself energetically and spiritually ready for whatever it is that you're waiting on um yeah, why is the Three of Wands here? What is this Three of Wands waiting on for the Pisces Collective? That was the reversed Ace of Pentacles. So um, I don't know, like I said, in the past, um, in 2019, whether you were feeling, um, maybe feel like you made like a bad investment of energy, of time, of effort, or maybe feel like there's like some missed opportunities. It's like you're trying to rebuild yourself up after dealing with something, okay? Why is the Three of Wands here with Beauty for January 2020 for Pisces? Why is the Three of Wands here for Pisces? Really? Two of Wands. That's funny. Can't make that shit up. Three of Wands came out. Clarifying. Three of Wands is a Two of Wands. So once again, like I said, something that you are, are waiting for, you've been planning towards, um, or, or you could be like waiting for a situation to come to a particular point where you have to execute a particular course of action or a decision that needs to be made. But I feel like, like I said, this is you waiting for something that you've been um, planning towards, investing your energy in. Or um, if not that, then you're just waiting on some kind of, you know, decision to be made. But like I said, I feel like you're um, waiting and preparing for something, some kind of opportunity, something new to approach you. Okay. And I feel like you're getting yourself ready for that. Um, like I said, with this victory being here, it could be that you're expecting some kind of success or victory in the situation if you're not already like embodying this energy and this isn't just talking about you successfully taking care of yourself and, and building yourself up. This is you kind of like waiting for um, this sense of success or this sense of achievement in regards to a particular situation to come in for you. But energetically, spiritually, possibly even physically, it's like you're getting yourself ready for it and you're waiting in, in expectation for whatever this is for you, okay? Um, why is victory and rest and rejuvenation here for January 2020 for the Pisces Collective? Okay, that came out in the reverse and then it... <laughs> I'll read it both ways, but it came out in reverse and it flipped into the upright. So, um, when this is in the reverse, it talks about some kind of resistance. Um, possibly like some emotional baggage that needs to be worked through some kind of transition in a particular situation there there's resistance um to a transitioning situation but i feel like um since this came out in the reverse and then it flipped into the upright i feel like this is you actually overcoming whatever emotional baggage or resistance that you've been dealing with maybe um finding it hard to move forward or move on from a situation i feel like that's something that you're overcoming like i said and to flip into the upright, I feel like you are either in this energy or you're approaching this energy of being able to move forward, move on to something that is more peaceful, more calming and balanced for your energy. The Six of Swords is very, it's a very calm energy. It's like after, after conflict, after the storm, there comes that peaceful period, you know, kind of like that, that quietness after a storm passes. That's the Six of Swords energy. And I feel like that's what you are either already in or that's what you're, you're going towards. Okay, you're going to towards more peace, more calm, more clarity. Okay. Like I said, for some of you, the, the Six of Swords and these can both talk about the same thing, you know. They can talk about an internal journey of moving 
towards something calm or something more peaceful, something more in alignment for you, something that your soul actually wants. Then for others, like I said, this can be, you know, physical travel because the six of swords can talk about traveling overseas, um, traveling via water. Okay, so maybe some of you will be taking some kind of cruise or, you know, some kind of vacation um, or just relocating. But I feel like this is more of an internal kind of energy. But if that resonates, then take it. Okay, so... Do we have any more? Is there anything else that Pisces needs to know for January 2020? Okay, miracle. Like I said, I feel like you're expecting something. It's like you're, I don't know whether you're expecting a situation to change. I don't know whether you're expecting something new to come in. I don't know whether, like I said, there's something in particular that you've been planning towards and working towards and you're just like getting yourself ready, um, preparing yourself. But um, miracle here, it, it basically talks about expect a miracle, miracles happening. Um, and basically just keeping, like I said, keeping your energy, your vibration high and in preparation for whatever this is that you're waiting for to come in, keeping yourself um, energetically where you're supposed to be that way. You know, like attracts like. If you're in a, a, good, a good energy, it's very easy for you to attract things to you that help you to maintain that energy. So if you're happy, you can attract things that make you happy and vice versa. If, you know, you're in a negative energy, then you can attract more negative. But like I said, I feel like you're energetically preparing yourself for something amazing to come through for you in january okay so now that we have that out the way for uh february the overall energy is power this is your um is your first seven if i'm not mistaken yeah so this is your first seven this is power this is talking about knowing your power acting out of your power um like i said for you you could be because in january it's like you're getting yourself ready for something maybe February comes and it's like you are more fully, more comfortable in who you are, where you are, in your power, in um, what it is that you're wanting, what it is that you're focused on. I feel like you can be very grounded in that come February, like I said, because it looks like for January you're you're either moving forward or you're, you're taking on this energy of preparation. Um, when I, I wanted to get why power came out for February, I got... I got the deceit card, which is another seven, and I had to take it because it was like the second or third time this came out. And then further clarifying is the woman holding the coin. So, um, okay. So like I said, I, I feel like energy-wise, whatever this energy is that you're dealing with, this is just saying that you do have the power to manage whatever the situation is. Um, with the deceit card, I don't typically see that as an external energy. So for a lot of you, this can be um, an external energy for you um, in February. Maybe it's not new. Maybe this is something that you're already aware of. Like this could be an old situation resurfacing for some of you. And then for others, this could be, you know, a new energy that you'll be dealing with in February. But either way, um, I don't want to alarm anybody. But just basically, to me, this says keep your antennas up. Just stay aware because you could have someone in your energy maybe on a professional or a financial level someone at work um someone who deals with your finances maybe somebody here is not being the most honest or straightforward in their dealings in their words and their actions and their intentions so just be aware of that um and you know if this is you pisces you're you're already like i said if this is you in your power you're good financially materially you're good at work um like i said you can have someone in your energy that maybe is not the most trustworthy I don't know whether that's on a personal level. It could be on a professional financial level because this did come out to clarify this, you know, so it could be maybe a feminine energy um, who's not the most trustworthy. Like I said, someone in words, maybe somebody who does your finances or this is you and this is just the energy that's going on around you. Maybe you're very stable in your energy, very stable in your power. And, you know, you could have some not so trustworthy people around you as a result of that. So just like I said, keep your antennas up and just be aware. Um, I'm trying to see what else do I get from this. Yeah, so th if this isn't you, then this is, you know, someone who takes on... Mm, I don't see that. Okay, so if this isn't someone, um, you know, it could be a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be male or female, just a feminine energy that is around you. Like I said, that you can't particularly trust, maybe in a professional financial setting. Um, then this is you, like I said, being in your power. Um, and, and as a result of that, you could have some, you know, low vibrational energies around you, maybe being deceptive, plotting, being sneaky. So just be aware of that, okay? 
right. why is um why is power here as the overall energy of Jan of uh, February 2020 for Pisces? Why is power here for February 2020 for the collective of Pisces? That's too many. Why is power here as the overall energy of February 2020 for Pisces? Okay. Alright, so we got the King of Pentacles. So I this could be you. Okay. It definitely could be you. So even though this is masculine and feminine. They both talk about a person of value. They both talk about someone who is um, financially on the up and up or someone who you could be consulting with about finances or about business. But because this is clarifying the overall energy of your month, I do feel like for a lot of you, um, Pisces, this is you. You're actually doing very good on a um, material, material level. You're doing good at work. You're doing good with finances. You could be working on something. Like I said, that... Um, that three of wands, two of wands in for, for January, that could just, like I said, you, you're preparing for something, you're getting your energy ready for something, you're pampering. Um, and, and I feel like this is you being one, a person of value, and also things being good for you on a material, financial work level. All right, and like I said, due to that, you can have someone who's not the most trustworthy around you, okay? But I feel like you are this, this I feel like you're in your pentacles energy, which is, you know, very stable, very secure, um, hardworking, so that's cool why is deceit here why is deceit here for february 2020 for pisces okay so once again the deception could be coming from it's either coming from a feminine energy or um once again you're you're in you're so much in your power you're so much in your own stability that you have someone around you jealous of that because the empress here is someone who is financially stable she's abundant she's creative she's prosperous um it's very easy for her to manifest stability and security for herself because she's the empress she's the queen of all queens um this is just energy it's feminine yes but this could be masculine um this could be a man or a woman okay uh, with the king of pentacles woman holding the queen and empress some of you are very you're just very blessed financially you're very blessed as far as work and what you're working on and what it is that you're committing your energy to and i feel like it's paying off for you um or it's starting to and like i said that brings in a whole nother slew of <laughs> whole nother slew of problems but materially financially work-wise it looks like everything is going is going great for you or that's where your focus is okay um, other than that, if, if the deceit card is talking about someone external to you that may not be the most trustworthy, it could be a mother figure, it could be, um, ooh, it could be a Taurus, a Libra that maybe you're dealing with, um, any earth sign, cause there's a lot of pentacles here, but, um, if it's not that, like I said, this is just you, but just be aware of maybe a not so forthright, um, feminine high probability it's a woman if it is but just be aware of that okay because it looks like you're doing really well and maybe someone around you doesn't you know have the best of intentions um like i said it could be a mother figure a strong feminine energy in your life a taurus a libra any of that why is woman holding a coin here for february 2020 for pisces okay the reverse six of cups okay so um, once again, some things from the past that you're working through, but I feel like there's some things that you're leaving behind, okay? I don't know whether you have some bad memories in regards to maybe a deceptive energy, someone you were dealing with in your past, who, who you maybe had a strong connection with or a lot of history with. You could be trying to move on from that. Um, that could be where this deceptive energy is coming from. But the reverse Six of Cups talks about, um, other than maybe some bad memories in the past, it talks about leaving the past behind, moving on, moving forward, you know, leaving things right where they are and just going so yeah let me see is there anything else there's a lot of sixes here right now so that does talk about you know needing balance um the material domestic life domestic situation so this could be um an energy that you're dealing with on a more personal level someone in your personal life who has taken on this energy like possibly in the past someone you have a lot of history bad memories about maybe um that you didn't trust and you know that energy could still be lingering around you in some way shape or form in february okay all right other than that all right is there anything else that pisces should know for february 2020 recovery so like i said some things you're getting over um 
I feel like whatever this past energy is, whatever this deception energy is, because power is the overall energy for it, I don't feel like this is going to be something, it's either not new to you or it's not really going to phase you. So either this is old energy or whatever energy this is, you're not, you're not particularly phased by it, most likely because you're so focused on work, finances, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're building. Um, but yeah, there's some things in the past you're trying to get over and you're healing from. All right. That's cool. So for March, we do have balance. Again, balance seems to be like the reoccurring word here. Uh, this is another 10. Okay, this is needing to ground yourself and seeking balance. Okay, so um, with this being the overall energy for March, I feel like maybe you will, um, and, and then that's actually your, your birthday month, Pisces. So that could be why, you know, the energy is heightened for you transit wise. Um, and so you could just be feeling your energy as well as other energies very, very heightened. And maybe that could throw you off a little bit in March. Um, further clarifying why this came out as the overall energy. There's something that you're needing to find balance and harmony within. You need to ground yourself, ground your energy. I feel like it's more on an emotional and a spiritual level. Like you're trying to find balance between your, um, your emotions and maybe your intuition or your emotions and your spirituality. For a lot of you, okay, further clarifying why balance came out, we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. He is an angel who helps you to physically, emotionally heal. So call on that energy if that's something that you're needing. And we have goddess of the moon here, which is all about intuition and going within. This is the high priestess to me. This is another seven, very spiritual. This is very you, Pisces, okay? So um, I don't know whether, whether you're going to be at, at odds with your intuition due to your heart. Um, or, or I don't know whether you're just going into deal, going within to you know deal with emotional matters, but I feel like the balance that you needed to find in March is between your emotions and your spirituality, not allowing one to over um, overpower the other. Okay, so remaining balanced in your emotions and remaining balanced in your intuition, remaining balanced in your um, spirituality, not letting one kind of overthrow the other. Okay. Um, if there are some emotional things resurfacing from your past, because we do have a lot of moving on, recovering energy here in preparation for something new, this could just be you, like I said, going within. There's some emotional things that you need to deal with, maybe because, you know, there's still some lingering feelings or lingering situations within your heart that you need to work through. Um, if there's a situation where, you know, you're at odds with your emotions and your intuition or your emotions and your spirituality, that's something that you're going to um, have to, like, really ground yourself to get through because one you're you're already mutable pisces <laughs> you feel everything you don't particularly you don't naturally have boundaries that's something that you have to try to do so um it, this is kind of like i, I just I, I feel like march is just going to be more heightened for you emotionally spiritually astrologically because that's not only is it your energy amplified but because it's your energy amplified and you naturally don't have boundaries it's like you'll also be feeling other people's energy at a heightened capacity and that like i said that could throw you off and that could be why you're needing to find balance if it's not that although i do feel like for a lot of you it will be because pisces are sensitive um for others this is like an internal thing where you're really trying to balance your heart um your heart chakra as well as like your your higher self okay so there could be some odds there but overall i think the energy for March is that you really just need to ground yourself, okay? Um, try not to swing too too much one way or the other, okay? So over here for for um, January, we had meditation, relaxation. Once again, once again, that's preparing yourself for this. So kind of already get into the habit of having a grounding practice now. That way, if something does come up in March, you already have a grounding technique to go to to help you to you know balance your energy back out if that's something that you're not already familiar with <clears throat> okay why is balance here as the overall energy of march 2020 for pisces mm, and then you come out again the moon card you come out twice that's funny pisces okay so we have the reverse queen of cups here with the moon this is all you. So technically, um, when I'm doing a Cancer reading, this is Cancer. But in any other reading, I always see the Queen of Cups as Pisces, the Moon. Um, that can be called Cancer, but technically, astrologically, the Moon is Pisces as well. Um, yeah. So like I said, this is you, and 
with both of these being your energy and one of them being in the reverse, the reverse queen of cups, we're talking about somebody who's emotionally, I don't want to say emotionally unstable, just upset. Okay, not not in an emotionally balanced or happy place. Um, like I said, it could be that you're working through some things that you're still trying to, you know, recover from. Um, like I said, I feel like 2019, it brought up a lot of different things for a lot of people. And I feel like you could still be working through those energies now. Um, for most of you, for others of you, this is something new on the horizon. So, like I said, already have like a, a grounding or a meditation technique to help you like center yourself more. But like I said, I feel like this is any, an emotional and spiritual balance that you're trying to find in March. Um, and with this being here, like I said, March is your month. <laughs> um, the moon, the moon talks about worries. It talks about fears and anxieties, things not being what they seem. Um, and also needing to use your intuition to navigate. Okay. Cause with the moon, you know, you may not be able to see things fully. You have to navigate your way through it, trusting yourself and trusting your intuition. Um, especially in regards to like emotional matters, um, I feel like for a lot of you, maybe you'll be so emotionally upset or, you know, off balance that it kind of throws off your intuition. And so that's why you're needing that grounding. You're needing some kind of um, way to release that that emotional buildup so that you can, you know, more easily tap into that intuitive aspect. Because um, Pisces is probably the most intuitive sign, like I said, because there are no boundaries there. You have a little bit of every sign before you within you. So that can kind of throw you off sometimes because you know you, you can have a hard time perceiving what's yours and what isn't so with that being said i feel like this is a heightened th these are heightened emotions that could be blocking out your intuition in um or kind of like just throwing you off your spiritual game in march and so that's something that you're really needing to be aware of in advance maybe have a go-to method for centering grounding yourself and having a way to work through your emotions because there could be um, either a resurfacing of old emotions or there could be something that triggers you in March. And you're going to need to fall back on those grounding, centering methods that you have to help you get through it so that you can maintain that balance that you're, um, that you're going to need. Okay. But if there's a situation that maybe you're not seeing clearly in March, uh, maybe kind of like take a, just take a minute, take as much time as you can. Um, Take, as far as like taking a step back because there may be some things that you're upset about but you're not seeing something clearly here so just you know like I said be aware that maybe your emotions could be clouding your judgment all right okay all right why is the moon here with balance for March 2020 for Pisces why is the reverse queen of cups and the moon here for March 2020 for Pisces the reverse king of cups wanted to come out. Okay. Okay. Why is the reverse king of cups and the balance card here for March 2020 for Pisces? Why is the moon and reverse king of cups here for March 2020 for Pisces? Yeah. So, um, for some of you, maybe. <clears throat> For some of you, maybe, like I said, there's some confusion or a lack of clarity surrounding a particular situation, maybe something that you don't know, maybe something that you just have, you know, um, you have a lot of emotional baggage around, or maybe this is just, you know, something here, like I said, triggers you. Um, and it could be an energy for some of you, or maybe there's like some resistance. Maybe there's some things that you're clinging on to unnecessarily out of emotions um, that you're needing to let go of, like I said, because there's something here you're not seeing clearly or fully. Other than that, this is an energy of, like I said, um, maybe needing to let let go of some things because you know like I said it triggers you or it throws off your balance in some way shape or form so for some of you this can be an energy of you're overly clinging to something as an emotional reflex because something here is triggering you or upsetting you or you're not seeing something clearly somehow some of your emotions are clouding your judgment um, causing you to try and over over control some things other than that this is maybe needing to let go of some things that are like i said triggering you throwing your energy off throwing you off spiritually um and there could be like i said some some fears or some anxieties around this or just something here that you're not seeing clearly and there's something that you have to let go in order for you to you know maintain this balance okay so that's going to resonate differently for all of you but i do think that with the reverse queen of cups and the moon being here to me, that's like an, an excessive amount of emotion that's needing to be worked through. Um, yeah, so if this isn't like 
something here triggering you, causing you to want to like cling on to something or over control something. This is, you know, something here that's throwing you off emotionally, spiritually that you need to let go of so that you can remain grounded. Okay. Uh, Alright, and why is the fourth chakra here for March 2020 for Pisces? So definitely in, in March, Pisces, call on the, you can use the energy of like Archangel Raphael, because like I said, he deals with healing and emotions and all of that. Why is the fourth chakra here for March 2020 for Pisces? Yeah. So like I said, some past things you're trying to overcome, um, maybe some lingering resentments, some some, some feelings that you're harboring um, or, or trying to let go of in regards to a past person situation. Like I said, the reverse king of cups wanted to come out. Um, that can definitely be an energy if you maybe you were dealing with a counterpart, someone like I said you have a strong connection to, a soulmate, a strong tie, um, where you know there just could have been some reverse can cuss. He can't be emotionally manipulative. He can be somebody who's emotionally stifled or constipated. So, um, like I said, that the the past person or the past energy that you're dealing with could have taken on some of those traits, whether that's emotionally manipulative or whether that's just someone who's not the most emotionally expressive. Um, you could be dealing with some lingering resentments trying to heal and release uh, the, the emotions that you may still have tied to that person or that situation that caused you to have to, you know, move on and recover. So, yeah, um, as far as your heart, there's there's some things, possibly, like I said, some lingering feelings, lingering resentments, some things that you're trying to heal and get over. And there's some letting go that may have to happen in or opening up at the very least that may have to happen in um, in March for you. Um, all right, and, and for some, that, that reverse five of swords can be an energy of like recon reconciliation of some sort, whether you're reconciling um, within yourself about a situation or whether you're trying to reconcile with someone or vice versa, someone's trying to reconcile with you. Overall, there's a sense of either letting go or opening up in regards to something emotional, okay? Spiritual for some of you, but emotional for a lot of you. This could be traumas, fears. This could be tied to a specific person or situation that you've dealt with in the past, recently, more than anything. But honestly, healing isn't healing isn't like a straightforward concept. You know, you have good days, you have bad days. You could still, you know, have some lingering resentments about some things that happened 10, 20 years ago. So these could be old things resurfacing. But for a lot of you, this is a recent energy. Um, maybe, like I said, something happened in 2020 and you're still like working through it. Um, why is Goddess of the Moon here for March 2020 for Pisces? Okay. Why is Goddess of the Moon here for March 2020 for Pisces? Okay. So, um, yeah, the first card that came out was the reverse page of wands. Um, this is an energy, like I said, maybe you need to listen to your intuition about someone who's not who, who maybe brings a lot of conflict a lot of stress to you the reverse page of wands can be somebody who does not know how to communicate someone who brings a lot of drama and a lot of conflict um maybe somebody who uh it kind of takes on a bit of a petty energy you know this can be a gossip a liar this could just be somebody who is overly uh, like rebellious okay this this isn't someone who has a lot of maturity however that may express them however that may express itself the pages aren't the most mature or solid period you know they have potential but um yeah they're not fully there yet especially when they're in the reverse okay so unless you're like blocking communication with somebody or trying to overcome some kind of uh, conflict or delays in regards to a person or situation you could be dealing with an energy that is not the most mature like i said it could emotionally trigger you in some way and you're either needing to open up about this or you're needing to let go of someone who takes on this energy or someone who emotionally triggers you that you're you know as you're trying to heal um, further clarifying, we have the reverse wheel of fortune, so another 10, like I said, we have a lot of 10s here, the reverse wheel of fortune that talks about, once again, these two together, something here is just not working out, something here not flowing, okay, um, the reverse page of once talks about obstacles, delays, frustration, um, shit not going how you want it to, or an energy not being conducive to you, the reverse wheel of fortune that talks about, once again, um, when the wheel of fortune is in the upright, it talks about good fortune, going into a better cycle when this is in the reverse it can talk about setbacks it can just talk about things not flowing cohesively for you feeling like you're you're um what is that saying kind of feeling like you're um you're going against the flow of things 
So that could be, like I said, what's triggering you here in March. But either you're needing to open up, open up about this and work through those emotions or there's something or someone here that you need to let go of because it's kind of, um, it is bringing you too much conflict, too much stagnancy. And maybe you're you're having to overexert your energy in some way and it, it's holding you back or it's frustrating you or it's delaying you in some way. So there is someone or something that you're needing to work through your emotions about, heal from, and possibly let go of because there's too much, um, there could be too much confusion, too, there could be a lack of clarity, there could just be too much drama or conflict in regards to a person or situation and, you know, it triggers you, okay? So... Like I said, try and have a grounding method or some kind of um, way or method of dealing with your emotions. That way, you know, if this is a new energy coming towards you in March, you're prepared. And then even if this is a past energy resurfacing, at least then you have a fallback method for how to deal with it. And you're not just, you know, drowning in a sea of emotion. Okay. So, is there anything else that Pisces should be aware of for... It's too many. Is there anything else that... <laughs> Is there anything else the Pisces should be aware of for March 2020? Anything else Pisces should know for March 2020? Okay, perseverance, continuing to move forward, continuing to um, whatever stance that is that you're you're taking. Um, like I said, whether you're, you're opening up about something, whether you're, let, whether you're letting go of something, perseverance is needed, either to work through it yourself or to open up about it and express yourself to, you know, someone or something external to you. Um, is there anything else that Pisces should know for March 2020? Impatience. Okay. So, once again, uh, that moon card, it talks about anxieties, fears, worries, things not being what they seem. The perseverance here, um, maybe either you're dealing with like an impatient energy. That reverse page of wands can be somebody who's like impatient, like I said, someone who brings a lot of conflict. So, like that could be something that kind of throws you off, irritates you, triggers you. Um, other than that, you could be needing to like persist through a certain level of impatience that you have, okay? So either you're persevering beyond someone who is very impatient and very immature and who brings you a lot of um, conflict and obstacles, or this is just you needing to work through this energy yourself. So either you're needing to be more patient or you're needing to figure out how to deal with this energy that is being impatient with you. Um, I guess I feel like for a lot of you, this is an energy of letting go, okay? Because something here doesn't help you remain balanced, okay? Maybe there's like a violation of your, your boundaries here, okay? Or something here is just not it's like you're unable to for whatever reason you are a fish i'm wanting to say swim in it okay it could just be maybe a, a situation is not it's not what you want it to be or not what you thought it was or just brings you too much stress okay um the two cards i wanted to flip out earlier for this was impasse impasse day or how do you say the word impasse and um impartial so once again trying to like remain neutral trying to work through your emotions trying not to be swayed too much one way or the other that way you can actually be grounded enough to make a decision that will benefit you in the long term okay so for april for april the overall energy is resistance okay this is a waning moon so something here needing to be let go of or something that you could be um either consciously or subconsciously resisting in april um, like I said, this could be internal, like maybe you're just, there's some resistance as far as like this healing process that you could be going through. Other than that, you could be actively resisting someone or something external to you. But either way, it's like a, um, I'll, I'll say that in a second. I want to get to this first. So, uh, clarifying resistance, we have the thinking woman. Okay, so this is, you know, typically this is a woman of, or someone of wisdom. Someone who has a lot of wisdom, a lot of understanding. Maybe somebody who, who can even, you know, have enough wisdom to, you know, help or teach others or advise others. Okay, so maybe some of you will be, you know, consulting some kind of sounding board. Whether that's a professional or someone, you know, on a personal level. Maybe someone that you want to communicate with. Or needing to communicate with about what it is that you're going through. Other than that, this could be an energy. If you taking this on, it's like you are. You could be trying to figure out some things. You could be really in your head, um, maybe over, like analyzing, or maybe running some things through your head, and you're not liking it. And you could be resisting something that you're dealing with here in March. 
um I, I feel like this could just be once again you this is the same i feel like it's the same energy that you're working through here so whatever this resistance is it has to do with something that um you could be holding on to some like i said either some resentment some past hurts um some disappointments and things just not working out your way um and this could be causing like some kind of internal battle for you in April. I, I feel like you could be working through some, um, not just like hurt feelings or anything like that, or just disappointments, but you could also be working through like some insecurities. Okay, so maybe, you know, either on a material financial level or on an emotional level, there are some, some worries, there are some, some insecurities, some fears that you're having to work through here. And... I feel like this could be a little bit a bit challenging for you to say the least okay so I don't know if you're resisting letting go of this energy um, but th I feel like this is like an internal kind of resistance or conflict you may not even be consciously aware of it but whatever whatever this resistance is it has to do with a sense of maybe not being secure um, like I said, this could be emotionally. Like I said, a situation could be bringing up and triggering you, causing you to, you know, experience experience these emotions. Um, or this could be, you know, a financial, maybe some disappointments that you've dealt with in the material realm. And so, like, now you are, you know, you're all in your head. You're trying to figure out what to do. But I feel like this is a lot of emotional energy, like I said. Some things you're trying to push through, insecurities, fears, doubts. Um, for some of you, this could even be an energy of, like, um, intense sadness. Like I said, um, I, don't, I don't know whether this is the past energy resurfacing or whether this is something new. I hope it's not something new. But um, whatever this resistance is, it looks like it has to do with some disappointments and um, just not feeling, maybe not feeling safe, not feeling secure on an emotional level, okay, due to everything that's happened so far. And why is resistance here for April 2020 for Pisces? Yeah, you could be putting up some kind of conscious or subconscious resistance to something new that's trying to come in. Um, I don't know whether maybe you'll have an offer coming in and you're resistant to it. Or maybe this is like I said, um, there's some resistance just in your natural healing process. It's like you're resisting something new because maybe there could be some holding on to past hurts and, you know, insecurities. So for some of you, that's what this is. You're resisting this newness, maybe not even trying to because you're holding on to some things from the past. Others, um, this could be something here being offered to you. And maybe you're not the most receptive to it due to past energies. Um, so either this is a new beginning that you're resisting just for yourself or something here is being offered to you and you're not really the most receptive to it. Either way, the reason that you're not receptive has to do with emotional things that maybe you haven't fully healed from. Okay. But with this being here, this does say that you can have that you can have this new beginning. You can have this fresh creativity, this fresh energy, this sense of being renewed. You can. This could be the energy of spring. This is April. This is fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could definitely be that you know something new is trying to come in for you. But due to your own conscious or subconscious resistance, maybe that could be a little hard. Right? Why is um, Why is the thinking woman here for April 2020 for Pisces? Okay. The King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So like I said, for some of you, you, you can have someone like here trying to offer you something, but you're not receptive to it due to past shit. For others, this could just be you trying to take on this fire energy for yourself. Um wanting to take action wanting to get yourself something tangible something stable whether this is whether you're trying to focus on bringing in a new relationship whether you're trying to focus on your finances more i feel like this could be this definitely could be you trying to take this energy on for yourself action oriented goal oriented um just wanting something new all right and you can have some past things you know kind of you know pulling you back other than that this could be an external energy like i said trying to offer you something new long term here uh, it could be a business opportunity for some of you. It could be a personal offer um, as far as like a relationship for others. But the think this is clarifying the thinking woman since it basically signifies that there's something here you could be in your head about in April. Whether it's a new beginning you're contemplating for yourself or whether this is something here that's being offered to you. Um, as you're thinking about this, you could be dealing with some, you know, past resentments, hurts, emotions coming up as a result. All right. 
but other than that if this is like for example if this is more of a financial energy you're just insecure about finances you just have some things that you're dealing with on the financial level that stress you out this is you trying to take a more active approach toward getting yourself that stability so that this reversed can go into the upright so either way you're trying to find some kind of security here or it's being offered to you okay Why is the um why is the broken heart in the reversed ooh, I didn't mean to do that. It's the wrong way. Alright, why is the broken heart in the reversed first chakra here for eight of twenty twenty for Pisces? Yeah. So there like I said, um something here could be like this resistance, whatever it is that you're resisting, most likely is due to a past emotional think past things of an emotional nature. It's something here's like weighing you down. It's just too much in, in April. And maybe you're becoming aware of this. Um, but either way, something here is just most likely whatever emotions you're dealing with, it's just too much for you. We have two tens here and we have an eight. So there's something new that wants to come in. Whether this is just a renew a renewment of your energy and what you're wanting, or whether this is coming in as an offer to you. Um something here is begging to be let go of and dropped. But you know, only you can do that. But whatever it is emotionally, it, it, it's weighing you down way, way too much. And, and it's you're resisting or it's making you resist this new energy here. Okay, you only get the you only get back to the ace once you let go of the ten. So yeah. What is this ten of wands energy about for April 2020 for Pisces? What is this ten of wands about for Pisces in April? Cup wanted to come out emotions that was all i needed <laughs> i knew it was emotional so we have that and is there anything else the pisces should be aware of for april 2020 the, re the page of cups wanted to come out so i think it was reversed so maybe like i said something in the past disappointed you it hurt you maybe you were, like i said you were dealing with somebody who was immature any of those could apply anything else the pisces should know about april 2020 trickery okay so like i said you you just you at some point could have been on the receiving end trickery is here this deceit was here for for february so i don't know but this is an energy that you're already aware of whether this is a past energy resurfacing whether it's something new i don't think it's new though um because you start the year off already trying to move on and recover so i feel like this is you know an energy that you're most likely already aware of um you could be, you know, like I said, trying to work through some emotional and maybe even some trust issues with all the deceit cards that are here. So, um, yeah, you could be resisting something new because maybe you don't trust it. Could definitely be anything else the Pisces should be aware of for April 2020. Yeah. Perfection. That was weird. Okay. So... Maybe, um, like I said, you'll be really in your head. You're trying to assess whether or not something is trustworthy or whether or not it meets your standards, whether or not this new beginning, it, you know, you could be, like I said, overanalyzing it in your head about it um, due to maybe some trust issues or emotional disappointments lingering within you from a past person. And that's what you're needing to work through in April. Okay. It's always something with people. Anyways, for me, we have the path. Okay, so basically this is talking about your path, where you're supposed to be. It's being illuminated to you in May. Okay, so I don't know whether you're already aware of where you're going, what you're wanting to do, or whether this is something that you'll be more becoming more enlightened about in May. But this is an energy where literally like the path is set right here for you. You just have to go towards it. That's what this is. Okay, it's an eight. Like I said, eight. Prosperity. Abundance. Um cycles good cycles though um further clarifying that we have the world and we have the reversed uh magician and the mirror so this right here talks about expansion opening up for some of you maybe your path involves something in regards to like social media the internet career okay for others this is just you um needing to like fully tap into and, and use your your resources 
fully expand and open your mind to, you know, possibilities that maybe you didn't think about before. But with the reverse, you know, magician in the mirror being here that talks about maybe not realizing the opportunities or the resources that you have or maybe not feeling confident enough to go after what it is that you're wanting. But with the path being here, meaning that something here is for you, you're being guided to something and you just have to go towards it. I feel like this is, um, you have a new, um, you have like a new journey trying to open up for you, trying to get you to, you know, fully tap into opportunities, your resources, your gifts, your talents, and you could be doubting yourself. Or you, if not that, this is just the energy where you need to be aware and make sure that if you do have like some um, business oriented or just some creative opportunities or resources at your at your disposal, you could just not be realizing that. And you need to make sure in May that you're not missing out on um, anything due to either not paying attention or not being confident enough to go after it okay like i said for some of you this could be like um expansion on a particular platform like i said if you are doing anything creative business oriented in regards to like the internet then you know there could be some some things that maybe you're not realizing some what, what word am i looking for you need to just fully pay attention to what is ahead of you to make sure that you're not missing out on wonderful opportunities, okay? Not letting things pass you by. So for some of you, that's what this is. For others, there could be some things that you need to capitalize on in May, but you have your own doubts, your own lack of confidence that could be hindering you from expanding and fully, you know, stepping into your potential and maximizing on it. So just try to make sure that you're not holding yourself back um, unnecessarily in May, especially in regards to career creativity and just capitalizing on your resources, your vision, where you're trying to go. Try try not to, you know, be small minded or um, overly doubtful of yourself and what you're capable of and what you have at your disposal. Because um, with this being here, this does signify that there is something for you on the horizon. You do have an opportunity to expand and open up and to maybe, you know, like I said, ex expand maybe your platform. But if you don't, if you don't act in the right time, if you miss the the window of opportunity, that's, that could set you back. So just try to try and be aware of that. Try to make sure that you're not holding yourself back. Try to make sure that you're fully taking note of everything that is available to you. You know, contemplating, you know, possibilities that maybe you didn't before. Just try to be very open minded, and just try to make sure that you're ready for whatever opportunities are coming your way. Because with the path being here. This is basically saying you're being guided to go in a particular direction. Try not to let your, you know, um, try not to hold yourself back confidence-wise, okay? Because it's right here. It, it, it's it's like literally something here is ready to like open up and blossom for you, but you could be the energy holding yourself back. So try not to do that. Um, and Pisces deal heavily with like self-sabotage and escapism. So just try to be aware. Um, what else am I doing? Why is the path here for April, um, not April, May? Why is the path here for May 2020 for Pisces? Oh, okay. I like this. Um, why is the world here with, why is the world here for Pisces in May 2020? Why is the world here for Pisces in May 2020? Damn it. <laughs> Alright, that's like the second time. That's the second time that the, the reverse ace of pentacles wants to come out. Temperance came out. Uh, why is the reverse magician here? The Pisces. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we have the path clarified by the reverse three of swords. So once again, this is a energy of healing, recovering, accepting things, moving on from sorrow, moving on from disappointments, regrets, things that, you know, put you in a bad space emotionally, moving on from that and a new path being, you know, illuminated for you. So that's cool. That is an energy of healing as well as the world here is clarified by temperance is the one that actually fell on the floor. Um, temperance that talks about balance control harmony patience taking like the middle path 
okay this is also having like a lot of angelic ancestral healing around you guiding you but this is also you taking a balanced and um kind of like the middle path approach not too extreme one way or the other but really controlling yourself your energy as you move forward as you expand um it is kind of energy where you gotta uh, there's a new path here but you do need to pace yourself you do need to remain control and imbalance in your energy okay this definitely is an echo of balance here as well as building blocks because it takes the energy of temperance to rebuild after that um after that storm happens okay so definitely um healing is here for you in march but i, I feel like healing is, like i said healing is not a straightforward thing you know um it happens in layers it, it's a process so um this there will be like a heightened energy of, of healing though for you in may that's cool needing to fully um needing to pace yourself and be patient but also fully capitalizing on your resources and the opportunities ahead of you and allowing yourself to blossom and open up and expand whether that's just yourself and your journey or whether like i said you want some kind of platform for work or creative related reasons uh, with the reverse magician here this is clarified by the reverse nine of cups so once again um the i, I want to say the nine of cups is also ruled by pisces energy so with this being in the reverse once again this can talk about some kind of emotional upset hindering you whether it's because it's making you doubt yourself and it's making you lack the courage to do something whether it's making you um i hate when i lose my train of thought that's so fucking annoying or whether this is just like emotional disappointments like i said the reverse nine of cups can talk about being extremely upset or dissatisfied discontent with the situation um it's it's an energy of excess in a bad way okay so i don't know whether um to me, this is just an excessive amount of emotion somehow hindering you, either clouding your judgment once again, um, you're not seeing things clearly, you're not seeing yourself clearly, or maybe like some kind of um, either overindulgence or an excessive amount of emotion is causing you to, could be causing you to like miss out on things or not see things clearly. So just try to be, have a heightened awareness about that in May. Okay, because it does look like either some past disappointments or just a lot of emotional shit could be clouding your judgment, making you miss out on things that you otherwise should be moving towards because you're healing. So try not to let those past disappointments, try not to let overindulgence, try not to let your emotions um, get the best of you. Okay. All right, is there anything else that Pisces should know for May 2020? Anything else Pisces should know for May 2020? Creation. So once again, um, this is kind of an artistic card. So it's basically everybody has this everybody has a gift. Okay, whether it's a spiritual gift or it's a creative gift, everybody has that thing that they're good at, that thing that they were put here to do. And that's what you need to focus on in May if you're not already. Like I said, try not to let your emotions um, or, or feelings of self-doubt or not feeling worthy or confident enough try not to let that hold you back because you do have a lot to offer you do have a path that's opening up for you especially if you're a creative person especially if you're doing things on the platform it's literally waiting for you to go towards it but just try not to let your your past experiences or your own internal issues to hold you back from what it is that you're really needing to go towards because you pisces are naturally creative and that needs to be expressed in some healthy way shape or form and that's where your focus is needing to be period okay um yeah so we are, are now on the s mark june we have june 2020 here the overall energy is faith okay so um i don't want to say that june will be a test of your faith it could be for some of you um but this is an energy where you whatever it is that you're dealing with in june if it is a test of your faith you're gonna really really have to like um, back to what is this March you're, you're really gonna have to like go back to whatever methods that helped you to stay emotionally and spiritually balanced up until June I feel like for some of you you will need that in June whatever those emotional spiritual practices are that helped you to ground help you to focus help you to maintain um, I feel like you're gonna be needing those in June um, because like I said there could be a situation to test your faith or that's just an energy that needs to be heightened for you at that time for whatever reason that's further clarified 
by another seven, the reverse door to healing and happiness and the reverse temple path. Okay, so um, maybe in June you'll be working through some, maybe not feeling, you could be feeling stuck or blocked in some way, shape or form. Maybe in, as far as like your personal intentions, maybe you could be feeling creatively blocked. Maybe you could feel um, just stuck or unsure of like how to move forward um, to this new energy. Um, with the reverse temple path being here, this could be feeling like, you know, either this is you feeling like you're not on your path or maybe something here is distracting you from your, your path or where you're supposed to be headed. Um, with this being here, it, it talks about, you know, being in a situation or being distracted to the point where you're no longer in alignment with what your, you know, your soul journey, your soul purpose is. So needing to recenter that. I don't know, for some of you, this could be an energy in, in um, June where you're like, you could be overly focused on maybe the material, you know, maybe worldly work um finances that kind of thing um relationships or it could just be it could literally be anything anything can be a distraction if it's done at the wrong time or if it's done in excess so whatever could be distracting you in june or whatever here that is happening that is making you feel blocked or stuck it's it's a test of your faith and you're needing to make sure that like i said whatever practices that you have been doing up until june you may really need those in june because whether it's due to internal or external reasons, um, there, there's, there, you could just be not feeling like you're in alignment. Okay, things could feel harder for you. Things could feel uh, a little bit more stagnant for you. You could just feel like something here is not working. All right, so like I said, whether that's internal, you know, something in the external material um, work finances whether that's distracting you whether it's internal issues like i said that you've been dealing with that are you know kind of pulling you away from where you're supposed to be headed that's why faith is here you know because this is an energy that you need to have faith in order to overcome because you know most things things are temporary <laughs> the worst feelings the best feelings the only thing that you can find comfort in is that it's temporary so um with this being here though you're going to have to have faith that, one, you're not stuck. You're not blocked. It's a process. Life is a process. It's a journey. You can't rush it. Everything happens for a reason. I'm seeing 111, 11 when I said that. So for a lot of you, that will be a feeling. You will just be feeling stuck on your path or in life or in, as far as your personal intentions and your goals. And that's fine. It's natural. It's a part of the process. It's okay. Um, with this being here, like I said, this is an energy where you're needing to call on your ancestors and your spirit guides just to help you, to help you restore and maintain this faith. Because like I said, with this being here, either you have someone or something external to you distracting you, or you have your own issues that are, you know, stagnating you or causing you to feel blocked. Either way, you're needing like spiritual support, ancestors, spirit guides, whatever divine power you believe in, you're needing to really tap into that energy so that you can overcome it. Okay. Um, why is faith here for June 2020 for Pisces? Why is June um why is faith here for June 2020 for Pisces? Yeah, so the three of pentacles needing to work on your faith, needing to work on or, or focus on your creations. Okay, I don't know whether you're going to, if you have a project that you're working on, that you will be working on, that's where your intention, your attention is needing to go. Um, this is the energy of also needing to accept help from others, whether it's spiritual help, whether it's physical help, accepting that help. This is also you focusing, working on your faith, working on whatever it is that you're creatively or otherwise giving your energy to, working on that. Um, let me see. Why is the Three of Pentacles here with faith for June 2020 for Pisces? Yeah. Okay, and why is the reverse healing and happiness here with the reverse temple path? Why is reverse healing and happiness here with the reverse temple path for Pisces for June 2020? Yeah. Okay, so clarifying uh, faith the three of pentacles is the seven of cups so once again there's a lot of cups here yes you pisces you're you your emotions so but i do feel like this is a heightened energy of like i said emotions and spirituality that you're trying to find balance within um especially for this first six months here so like i said this is you one three of pentacles that talks about collaboration group teamwork putting in the effort building okay so for a lot of you like i said this is um, you could be dealing with an energy internal or external to you in June that is testing your faith and you're needing to really work on staying grounded in that faith. 
Um, for others, is you needing to accept spiritual, physical help and support from other people so that you can, you know, once again, maintain that faith with the Seven of Cups. You know, I try not to try to make sure that your energy isn't scattered in June. But other than that, this is... This could definitely be an energy where like there's there's multiple things kind of pulling at your attention, pulling at your energy in June. Um, like I said, it could be in, it could be you know just you know various situations or like various people. So that that could be kind of an issue for you here because like I said, you could have something like I said whether it's internal or external distracting you. That Seven of Cups it can be a very overwhelming or confusing energy. Other than it being like a multiple choice or multiple options, it can be very overwhelming to deal with. So like I said, whether it's um, internal things that are overwhelming you, confusing you, clouding your judgment, or whether it's something external to you, distracting you, overwhelming you, that you are needing to like really work on your faith in regards to. Try not to let these distractions, you know, um, keep you in this feeling of not feeling um, try not to let these things put you in a self-defeating attitude or mindset, basically. Um, and once again, try not to get too scattered. If you're focusing on your, if you're trying to maintain your faith, that's what you need to do. If you're trying to work on something creatively or work-wise, then do that. Try not to let these extra energies, uh, situations pull at you too much because, like I said, that could it could turn into a distraction for you. Um, clarifying <laughs> the reverse healing and happiness and the temple path here is the reverse five of cups and the nine of wands so once again the wounded warrior you know still having fight in you to move forward and to persevere once again but you know having been through a lot of shit up until this point so the wounded warrior obviously it means that you've been through some things especially with this reverse five of cups i do like the re that the reverse three of swords and the reverse five of cups is here um in both may and in june so that is they're, they're both talking about healing um, even that reverse five of swords is talking about healing to an extent back in March. So overall, this is a recovery kind of year for you where you're building yourself back up and where you're trying to maintain that balance after you build yourself up. So with these both being here, like I said, try not to get into a self-defeating energy due to either your own internal baggage or the multiple situations or people around you in June that could be distracting you. Um, if you are taking on this energy of being very cautious, overly guarded, try not to let that, you know, take you too far off of your path. Yes, you know, protect your energy, but don't let your past experiences jade you to where you're not even receptive anymore. Um, with the reverse five, because like I said, that's healing, that's getting over things, accepting it, no longer crying over things that can't be changed or what could have could have been or should have been. Okay, letting go of that and continuing to move forward. Okay. The Nine of Wands is somebody who, you know, haven't been through so much. It is a test of faith because it's like, this is an energy that wants to give up. It may want to, but it doesn't. So I feel like that Nine of Wands energy is amplifying this faith. So just try and stay strong in that and try not to let, you know, like I said, external, internal, try not to let it distract you and deter you too much. Um, like I said, for whatever reason, June may be testing your faith in some way, shape, or form. So just try to remember that and go to your your natural methods for processing spiritually, emotionally. Use those methods to help you get through June. Okay. Um, I say you start using them now. That way, if something does come up in June, you're not you're not thrown off by it. Okay. But I do feel like there's an enhanced need to ask for angelic, ancestral, and spiritual support here. Because, like I said, you're you're building and you're really trying to commit to yourself and your path. And you could have some things here, you know, testing your resolve with that. And you do need that extra spiritual support and maybe even that physical, tangible help from, like, friends to, like, keep you to where it is that you're trying to go. Or where, or where it is that you're being called to. Okay. Um, yeah. What is the last? All right. Is there anything else that Pisces should know for June 2020? Anything else Pisces should know for June 2020? All right, completion. Okay, completion here is like I said, if it's, if it's projects, still just 
focus on that okay other than that this is talking about maybe this test of your faith that that's ending or you're coming to the end of a particular situation in an ending of feeling stuck or blocked or stagnant or not in alignment or any of those things it's a completion to that completion to like the the inner turmoil and the feeling of being lost or the feeling of holding on to past resentments that's completing um other than that like i said maybe something here that you're working on in june it comes to a completion and there's some things that you will be closing out all right anything else yeah this is pity things getting away from you okay I've literally never pulled that card dissipating things literally for whatever reason I always think the dissipating is like I don't know why I get this uh, kind of like what is it Avengers yeah I think Avengers in the the scene where what is, it, is it infinity wars I don't know where they just like they kind of what the fuck is it? They evaporate into thin air. That's what I think for uh, this dissipating. I don't even know what this card means, but um, that's the visual that I got when I seen this. And so, like I said, I feel like a lot of things will be kind of um, closing out, leaving in June. Okay, I don't know whether that's going to leave you in a particularly defensive energy or feeling lost. But if something here is trying to complete itself and dissolve, please let it. And also, this is an energy of. Uh, don't allow things to make you miss out on opportunities. If there's something that you're wanting to go after, please do go after it, okay? Um, yeah, and I think that is it. Is there anything else that I'm going to pull? No, this video is long enough. So, uh, Pisces, I hope that, you know, you got some insight from this. Please do check back. Let me know if this resonates. Um, your your reading was very interesting, okay? I, I hope that, you know, at the very least, I hope the good things resonate um, I hope that the bad things don't, but for a lot of you, like I said, this will be a very emotional, spiritual first six months for you, and I do hope that you're able to remain grounded and balanced throughout it. If you like this video, please let me know. Please comment. Please check back, and until the next video, I appreciate you for watching, and thank you. Okay, bye.